Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on orders over $10. From April 2nd, 2021 through April 23rd, 2021, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a Strixhaven set booster box. Also, there is another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends. Welcome to this special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It is that time of the week again where we count down the 10 hottest cards of the week. Now that we know everything that's in Commander 2021 and Strixhaven, those reveals have prompted some cards to go up in value. You'll see a few of those on the list today, as well as other things that are going on. We'll get into all those details, but quickly before we get started, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Strict Saving products there. They also have Time Spiral remastered booster boxes, restocked, and a whole lot of other things on the website too. Remember, if your order comes to over $100 or it consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. And whenever you use the promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Finale of Eternity. It goes up 314 to $6 for a 110% increase. And this is a good time to let you know how we compile our top 10 list every week. We look at two major pieces of criteria. The first one being a percentage increase in value for the cards. The second one is a true increase in sales. So if you're expecting to see a card here and it does not show up, it fell short in one or both of those categories. Let's talk about this one though in particular for a moment. This has proven to be a very good commander card in a lot of different builds, including Zexara the Exemplary, and more recent builds too, like Lathral Blade of the Elves. I've also seen this show up in some early deck lists around a new Strict Saving card. That card is Belladros Witherbloom. Number 9 is Goblin Spymaster, up 384 this week to 1298. That is a 42% increase. This has been seeing a little more commander play around some Keldheim cards recently. Things like Carter Doom Scourge, Toroth God of Fury slash Toroth's Hammer, and Agar the Freezing Flame. Number 8 is Spell Weaver Helix. This goes up 415 to 552 for a 303% increase if you're doing the math at home. This is showing up in various commander deck lists now with Thrumming Stone and a new card from Strixhaven. That card is Dragon's Approach. This one can break the one card per deck rule in commander, and it appears right now based off pre-sales and a lot of the early deck lists I'm seeing. A lot of Commander players are interested to see how efficient this card can be. Number 7, Soul Echo. It goes up 482 to 1003 for a 93% increase. Now this can see a tad bit of Commander play, but probably moving due to its status on the reserve list more than anything. There's not as much activity around these reserve list cards compared to just a few weeks ago, but there's still a few that are jumping in value. Number 6 is Thran Quarry. This goes up 499 to 1332 for a 60% increase. This is a solid commander card in creature-heavy multi-color builds, like the very popular Sliver decks. And as you know, if you've been watching these videos recently, Slivers have become very popular again in Commander due to the reprinting of Sliver Legion and some other key Slivers in Time Spiral Remastered. Number 5 is Tempt with Reflections. It goes up 560 to 1376. That is a 69% increase. This is currently seeing play in a number of builds in Commander like Riku of Two Reflections and a lot of others, even some new builds like Arvar the All Form. This was in a video we did a little over a week ago discussing cards that you might want to play with this upcoming card, Adrix and Nev Twin Casters from Commander 2021. Some players are picking up Tempt of the Reflections to build around this card from scratch, or as an upgrade to the Quantum Quantrix Commander 2021 deck, which is where this is from. Number 4 is As Foretold. It goes up 952 to 2161 for a 79% increase. This one does see modern play. It's an electro balance and more there. Also, it does get some commander play and attracts a Praetor's Voice and other decks in that format as well. Additionally, we did see some suspend cards reprinted in Time Spiral Remastered. However, the main reason this is moving up this much right now is due to some leaked information. So if you don't want to hear about leaks, I'll let you go ahead and skip to the next card. Now the information that came out is from an account on a message board that has had some accurate information in the past. And what they said was is that there was going to be a cycle of new uncastable suspend cards in Modern Horizons 2. If that's the case and one or more of them turn out to be pretty good, then this card could see more play in the future. 
Number three, Wave of Terror. It goes up 1030 to 1530 for a 206% increase. Again, here's another card that sure can see a tad bit of commander play here or there. But again, moving because of its status on the reserve list, this does appear to be maybe a potential buyout. And number two is Null Spine Dragon. Shadowmore goes up 951 to $15 for a 173% increase. The Mystery Booster copy up $15.98 to $20.86. That is a 320% increase. Now, this has been a good commander card in a number of builds, including the Heb the Eternal. It's been in some newer builds too, like Magda Brazen Outlaw and Taralf God of Fury, for example. Also, some players are speculating on dragons due to this summer standard set called Dungeons & Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. But the main reason this is going up this much right now ties into a card we saw a little bit earlier. Yet again, this is another card being pushed by Dragon's Approach. I have seen a lot of deck lists around a whole bunch of different commanders running copies of Dragon's Approach, along with this card as well. And number one is squandered resources up 29.60 to 79.94 for a 59% increase. Now, sure, this one is a reserve list card and it is jumping quite a bit. So maybe there is a buyout element happening here, but there are some reasons this could be going up in value for real. First off, this is sometimes found in legacy Aluren builds. It also gets commander play and things like the Gitrog monster and more. But now I am seeing it show up in some new deck lists around a card we saw earlier in the video, Belladros Witherbloom. All right, that's going to do it for this week's Top 10 Hot Cards. Remember to join us this weekend for the regular episode of The Market Watch, where we deep dive into everything that's happening in the secondary market. Until then, though, hey, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page, as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.